The recent scenes of violence between the government and opposition forces in Ukraine look like a war zone with two armies going head to head. The visuals reflect a deepening divide that's pulling Ukraine in two different directions. One toward Russia. Мы употребим все наше влияние, чтобы в этой стране воцарились мир и спокойствие. The other toward Western Europe. We call on all sides to put an end to violence immediately. Faced with this division, President Viktor Yanukovych has chosen Russia. Here's some background on a divide with few easy answers. On the Russian side, Vladimir Putin has strong influence over Mr. Yanukovych. The two men have met repeatedly since the beginning of the protests. Putin promised billions in aid to Ukraine and with the extended economic lifeline, Yanukovych continued to crack down on pro-Western activists at home. Russia has a variety of ways to exert influence. Alexander Motil, a professor of political science and specialist on Ukraine, explains. So it's the relationship between a big country and a small, lish, relatively smaller neighbor. Ukraine is highly dependent on Russia for natural gas. And without that natural gas, much of the economy would come to a halt. Russia has a military base in Ukraine. So there is this kind of weird relationship there as well. On the other side of the divide, are the protesters. While public opinion is split, the movement has maintained support in the face of repeated crackdowns. We see now the power of the government and the power of the president to the real decision of this political, shameful political, it's not even political. You know, it's a human conflict. Here's the geographical reality. This is Ukraine, with protests centered in Kiev. Through the lens of voting in the 2010 elections, two Ukraines are visible. In the West, there are mostly Ukrainian speakers who lean towards Europe. In that election, they opted for Yulia Tymoshenko, Mr. Yanukovych's now imprisoned rival. In the East, there's a predominantly Russian-speaking population. This is Mr. Yanukovych's base, with citizens there that are generally more wary of European Union integration. While the majority of protesters in Independence Square are from the West, many have also traveled to Kiev from the East. If you look at the two extremes, the two poles, then you do find two very different Ukraines. The East supports Yanukovych, the West detests him. The space between the Far East and the Far West is occupied by, a ter you know, by territories, provinces, peoples, cultures, which evince gradations. With a divided country, the search for some sort of compromise, with or without Mr. Yanukovych, will likely come in those gradations. Yeah!